There's a part of my childhood that still hopes to some degree that this is actually not scrapped. That somehow, some way, a sequel to Godzilla will still be made. I'll never forget seeing that babyzilla pop out of the egg and fade to black. And summer after summer after summer of waiting, I never found out what happened to him. If you can't tell, I love the 1998 Roland Emmerich Godzilla film. Yeah, I do. Sure, the acting is incredibly corny, Godzilla looks and acts very different from the iconic Japanese counterpart, but hey, there's just something about it that resonated with me all these years. Man, don't bullshit me. So with this big, literal Easter egg reveal, there was plans for a sequel. In fact, there were plans for a trilogy. But to make a long story short, while the film wasn't a huge financial bomb, Godzilla wasn't really well received with critics, or even Godzilla fans for that matter. There just wasn't any enthusiasm to push it through production. And with Toho's deal with TriStar fading away, the budget cut significantly, and Roland Emmerich walking away from the project, the production of Godzilla 2 was scrapped. But what was this sequel supposed to be about? Well, in 1999, a treatment for the film was completed, taking place almost immediately after the first one. Ferris Bueller is working with a team dissecting the remains of Godzilla from the first film, but it's just not sitting well with him. He feels this immense guilt for having a hand in the extinction of this new species. Now, I'm not going to give the entire story away. There will be a link down below where you can actually read the entire synopsis of this movie. But long story short, Godzilla grows up and lives in Australia and has a bunch of babies and saves the day by fighting giant insects that are destroying cities. Nico Hippopotamus has this relationship with Godzilla that's like a father-son type thing which was this whole element that was used in the Godzilla animated series, which I never watched, but I hear it's pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, I, I was watching Pokemon instead, so. And look, I think they were trying to make a movie that was for the fans. Godzilla's using its atomic breath, fighting monsters, you see the Monster Island. So it's kind of a shame we don't get to see this, but come on, I mean, how many times can we see Godzilla do the same thing over and over and over again? It's not like we're in a Godzilla drought. I mean, we have the legendary Godzilla and that whole monster verse that's ramping up. There's a Godzilla anime, and Shin Gojira just came out, which was, I would say, a masterpiece. So you know what? I'm kind of happy Godzilla 2 didn't happen, because it would just be more of the same. That's a lot of fish. But that is how Godzilla 2 and Godzilla 3, apparently, was Shut it down. Thank you for watching this episode of Scrapped. Now, last week, I asked you what your favorite Pixar film was and if they should make another Monsters, Inc. And Michaela Jones says, my favorite Pixar movie is fair. Brave. Wind Walker Rules 52 comments, my favorite Pixar movie, Toy Story by far. I like all the Pixar films, but nothing compares to Tim Allen acting crazy with tea parties. I love that scene. And lastly, Fjurgol 1806, I hope I said that right, I'm sorry, <laughs> says my favorite Pixar movie is Finding Nemo. That movie is just perfect. And today I'll ask you guys what is your favorite giant monster or kaiju and what is your guilty pleasure movie? Anyway, your answer could be featured in the next episode of Scrapped. I'd also like to take this time to talk about a book I've been reading recently written by my good friend. This new historical fiction novel, Choose to Rise, The Victory Within. It's an epic and beautifully written saga that follows two Armenian brothers during the last crumbling years of the Ottoman Empire. So if you like history and suspense like I do, check out our Amazon link down below. Below. I'm really excited to finish it up this week and let them know what I think. Also, make sure to hit that little bell. Besides myself, it's the only thing telling you when new Criss Cross episodes are up. I know, I know, I hate YouTube right now. Everyone does. Blah, 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 blah. And follow us on Twitter where you can vote for the next episode of Scrapped. I feel like I should do a story time soon because I was bitten by a spider last week. My arm blew up like twice the size. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This has been a crazy, crazy week for me. <laughs> but I love doing these videos and talking to all of you. I'll see you all next week. My name is Chris, and you've just been Chris Cross. Peace out, and have fun.